Good morning. This is EYA on EYA Censored, an impromptu live stream because I just want to get some content out to you. Today is April 28th, 2022. And this was a headline I just came across and it relates to the satanic Bible change that we're seeing across translations. Now, if you're just stumbling upon me on the on YouTube, our Bibles are under satanic assault and they're supernaturally changing and they relate to what we're seeing in the world around us. And it's absolutely crazy. Stay with me. I want to go ahead and cover this headline with you. And then I'm going to show you Bible changes in our King James Bibles and other translations. And we're also going to look at the meaning of some words. So let me go ahead and read this to you. This is um this title says Russia deployed military dolphins to protect Black Sea naval base as Ukraine invasion began. And it goes on to say that the Russian military deployed highly trained spy dolphins. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight some words here. Spy dolphins to secure its Black Sea Naval headquarters. Um, satellites appear to have shown. Images released by the U.S. Naval Institute today show dolphin pens were removed to the gates of Sevastopol, Harbor Crimea, in the run-up to the invasion of Ukraine, dolphins are used by the Russian military for counter-diver operations. Goes on. The canny mammals trained at the Crimean State Oceanarium can reportedly fight off invading divers, carry bombs, and even plant mines. And then it shows an American satellite photograph showing the floating dolphin pens by the harbor wall. That's what they look like. These spy dolphins. And um, they began using these training military dolphins in Sevastopol nearly 50 years ago. And this article is just rather interesting. So there is a spy dolphin right there. That's a great picture. In fact, I think I'll just take advantage of this and just take a picture of this. And so anyway, I wanted to show this to you because it relates to what we're seeing in scripture. And again, it's just really strange what we're seeing happen right now, but there is black magic happening. I can't explain it, but it is really bizarre. So let me go ahead and dive into how this relates to Bible changes. And I want to begin by showing you this. This is um, from the New American Standard Bible. And I went ahead and I typed in military into the Blue Letter Bible. And the word military is now in all of these Bible translations. That's right, the word military. Just think about that for a minute. In the Bible, across translations, we now have the word military. I never remember reading that word anywhere in scripture. It's not in the King James Bible, but let's take a look at the NASB. And the only reason why I want to look there is because they also have the Strong's number associated with it. That's what we want to look at. So it starts with, um, in 1 Samuel 17, 38, then Saul clothed David with his military attire. Now, and then a bronze helmet on his head and outfitted him with armor. David is wearing his military gear, including his sword, his bow, and his belt in 1 Samuel 18, 4. Military attire, it goes on with a belt, with a sword, and its sheath strapped on its waist, and as he went forward, it fell out. This language is just, he appointed military officers over the people. Stop them by military force. Now, as I'm reading this to you, I just have to highlight this. He appointed military officers dressed in military attire with a belt and so forth. Mil military gear, including his sword, his bow, and his belt. 
military attire. I want to take a look and see how military is being defined in the King James Bible. And it's saying this again, take a look, garment. So the word military, let's go back here for a minute so I can just show you. This, this is how we know it is absolutely a word switch. There's so many indicators, right? But military is H4055. Again, this is what the what it's saying in the Strong's Concordance. The KJV translates Strong's number H4055 to garment four times. Armor, measure, raiment, judgment. There's that variant again. Variant. It's all over the Strong's Concordance. And we even have the word variants in the King James Bible. You know, like the variants that they keep bringing forth from their labs into the world to create a fear campaign. Variants. There's no doubt in my mind that's why this word has been plopped into the Strong's Concordance and similarly into the King James Bible. Because they are creating variants. Totally different subject than the military that I'm showing you right now. But let me continue. So the word military is, I guess, one of the variants, right? Because I just clicked on it. Let me go back again so you can see. So there's no doubt. H4055 is a strong number that's associated with the word military, supposedly. And when I click on it, it takes me to these weird definitions in the King James Bible. Measure, cloth, cloth garment, a carpet, an outer garment, and yet it's translated as military in the in the in the New American Standard Bible. Yeah, something is definitely stinky about this, and it has a stench of the wicked one. Now stay with me. Jesus Christ is the word of God. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is holy of holies, right? He is altogether wondrous. He is our redeemer. He is our, our King. He is our defender. He is our, he is our mediator. But the Bible is satanically changing and it's being rewritten and it's absolutely out of this world madness and it's absolutely it's there are no words to describe how awful it is and how mysterious it is but we know it's not god changing scripture these words were not in the bible before but let me continue on so military is now in various translations of scripture and again you can do your own research as i always encourage you to do is to do the research on your own, using your own Bible, using Blue Letter Bible, Bible Gateway, Bible Hub, King James Bible Online, whatever you need to do your research. Is it really important to not always believe what I say, but to seek the Lord, pray and fast, and do your research, as I've always shared since 2016, okay? Really important. You're going to see things, the Holy Spirit will reveal things to you that I have not yet seen. And then... You know, that's just the way it works. But this is obvious. Let me continue on. So military is now in all these translations of scripture. And it has weird definitions. Then we have divers in the Bible. Now, again, this has to do with spy dolphins. And um, they're talking about divers and so forth. You know, attack enemy divers. Well, divers is now in the King James Bible. And before you, a, a naysayer says, no, it means diverse. No, diverse is also in the King James Bible. We're talking about the word divers, not diverse, but divers, just like it's written, just like this. They're talking about divers. And that's right. It's a mistake. It's an intentional word switch. And it does relate to 
these strange things that are happening today, like talking about enemy divers and so forth. Now, these word switches, word inserts and word omissions and and so forth, they have it, it's it's not just for this article or for this event with the dolphins in the Black Sea. There, there, I believe there are many reasons why these words are plopped in here. But I'm just showing you one example of how I see it playing out. So going back to the divers, divers is now in scripture 34 times in the King James Bible. And if you read some of these, these verses are like wackadoodles. Okay. They're so, they're, they're so obviously changed because you'll see grammar errors and nonsense verses, sometimes emoticons. And I'll give you an example. This one, I always show this one because this is just so crazy. And again, if you look this up in your own Bible, you can't help but wonder what in the world is going on. Some people can justify when I show them these changes online, but they're too lazy to go grab a Bible or they're too cheap or they just don't care to grab a paper Bible, a King James Bible and open it up and look. And the other instance, when I was showing you the word military, they're just too lazy to look at other translations. And that's not my problem. I'm a messenger. I'm sharing with you what it says. And I implore you to do your research as always. But anyway, this verse today in my paper Bible reads just like this with the grammar errors and new words and the nonsense. This is what it says. Have they not sped? A question mark and then a small h. Grammar error. Have they not, and then again, italicized words. Have they not, that's new, divided the prey to every man a damsel, that's right, a damsel or two. To Sisera, a prey of divers, colors, a prey of divers, colors of needlework, of divers, colors of needlework, on both sides, meet for the next of them that take the spoil. It's utter nonsense. Repeats, new words. What is going on? I want one person who's a naysayer to try to explain what this is saying to me, to the world. Seriously. It doesn't make sense. It's utter nonsense. And as I share so often, if people don't see this, they're willfully blind. They're, they've chosen blindness. It's a spiritual choice. And I'm so black and white on this. I have no qualm saying that somebody who does not see this is they do not love the truth. Because that's what the Bible says. That God would send the strong delusion because they did not love the truth. The lying signs and wonders are happening. And for those who don't see the lying signs and wonders and can't see the Bible changes that are so obvious, they're self-evident, they don't need my explanation to show how crazy it is, but I still do it anyway. Those who deny it and embrace these changes show they're in spiritual darkness. There's spiritual depravity going on in the heart of someone who calls themselves a Christian and says these grammar errors and new words and nonsense verses have always been in the King James Bible. I have zero tolerance for any other explanation. That might sound harsh, but it is what it is. And God was very clear that he would send the strong delusion because they did not love the truth in 2 Thessalonians 2. We're not looking at a new Bible. We're looking at Bibles in our own homes that we've owned that are satanically changing. Lying signs and wonders. 
whopper. I have to continue. This is, again, I showed this verse to you because of the new word divers. But again, there are other crazy things here that don't even make sense. What does it mean? Meat for the necks of them that take the spoil. And divers colors of needlework. Do you know that men are now wearing girdles of needlework in the Bible? We have transgenders in scripture. No, I'm not talking about eunuchs. I'm not talking about eunuchs. I'm talking about men wearing female clothing, giving birth to children, and having breasts full of milk in the King James Bible. Those are satanic changes. And yes, the notion that anyone can change their genders is a satanic lie. Did you hear me again? I'll say it again. Anyone who woefully believes they can change their genders prove they are under a satanic lie. They are being possessed by demons. It's a, it's an absolute ridiculous, insane lie. And right now, these wicked ones are trying to silence the voice of reason. People are being fired for saying that you can't change your gender. It goes on. It's absolutely wild what's happening right now. But this is the, the signs of the end. Everything is being inverted, like the Bible is being inverted. And it is painful to see. But we cannot deny it because we're afraid to. We can't dismiss these changes because it's too wicked to comprehend. We have to hit it head on and say, this is crazy. I don't know how it's happening, but I see it. But again, I think it's because those who are not seeing it are not seeking truth. Now, we know that you can be a non-Christian, someone who is not yet born again, and though they are seeing the Bible changes. And I don't know how that works. I don't know if they're on their way to salvation, right? I think so. And that's what we need to pray for. Because there, there's a reason why some see and some don't. And those who are not yet born again but see, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that they will be born again and understand the, the Father's love and the, and the, the promise of salvation for eternity. And, you know, the gospel is for the future, but it's also for today in this moment, in the second Anyway, I have to continue on. But anyway, this is, again, showing the word, new word, divers, that's now in the Bible. Like, divers temptations, divers sorts. Yeah, I guess this would be called, you know, various divers, right? Anyway, I have to move along here. Divers sorts, divers. And we know that, di you know, divers weights. Divers weights. In fact, let me see. Didn't I just see that word in here? No, I didn't. Okay, let me go back. So, um, let me go back here. Sorry, let me go back to dolphins. Oops, where did it go? I think I just lost it. But give me a minute, and we'll come back. So this was a. Uh, let me continue on. So divers is now in the Bible. I think I got the point across. You guys can go ahead and look these up on your own. Divers weights and divers measures. Okay, the next one I'm going to take a look at is okay the badgers now some of you are like wait a minute we're not talking about badgers we're talking about dolphins right but i'm going to show you something so stay with me the word badgers which is ridiculous is in the bible 14 times in the king james bible now when you look at these verses they are crazy they're, they're really weird and they're in the book of exodus and numbers and one time in ezekiel badger skins Go do your own research on this because they're really, really crazy. And I don't have the time to read all of these to you right now, but you can do that. But I want to go ahead and show you something. So Exodus 25, 5, for example, 
is badger skins. And take a look at this. Take a look at what I'm going to show you. Badgers, and again, that up added apostrophe that we're seeing throughout scripture. H8476. Look. Badge KJV translates Strong's number H8476 in the following manner. A kind of leather, skin, or animal hide. Perhaps a badger or dugong or dolphin. Do you see that? Dolphin. Right there, dolphin. So for the word badger that's been plopped into the King James Bible, they're saying that it can mean a dolphin. That's right, a dolphin. And then the weird thing is, it says here the Strong's definitions... A clean animal with fur. Have you ever known a dolphin to have fur? Anyone. Probably a species of antelope. And we know there are new animal antelope species out there. Mandela effects. Now, again, I, as I've shared before, I don't know what a dugong is. Um, never heard of a dugong before. Or a sheep. Um, in some instances that are calling them, um, well, I'll show you. Let's take a look at what other translations are saying for Exodus 25.5. And I'll just do this. Dolphin. Some translations in English are now saying dolphin. Do you see that? Dolphin. I'm going to zoom in here. This is the um, AMPC version. Let me make this broader. Um, the ISV version says dolphin. MSG version, which is not, never has been a Bible translation. It's always been a satanic deception. The message translation. And it's appalling the Bible gateway or anyone would endorse this as a proper Bible. But by the way, every Bible in every language is under satanic assault. Again, every Bible in every translation and languages are under satanic assault. We've seen this we heard testimonies across the earth of their Bible, of Bibles being changed in other languages, Chinese, in Chinese, French, German. Um, I can go on and on. That people are reporting changes in their Bibles that are not English. Okay, so we see now that dolphin is now plopped into the King James Bible um, as a definition for the word badger. And the word dolphin is now in various English translations of scripture. And again, these verses are so crazy. Uh, where do you even begin? Like even the word shittim is now in the Bible. That's right, shittim. It sounds like shit them. The word acacia wood has been erased from the King James Bible. And now it's shittim. And phonetically, it sounds like shit them, doesn't it? And this is what we're seeing throughout the Bible. It's unbelievable madness, what we're seeing. And these verses are just that. I have to continue. I have to continue on here. So next, I want to show you the word satellite. Because in this article, they're talking about the using of a satellite. Um, it says this, Putin stationed spy dolphins to protect... I'm sorry, there's something popping up here. To protect key Black Sea Harbor, U.S. satellites find. You see that? And the word satellites are now found in the New American Standard and the Vulgate. Now, when I click on the New American Standard, wait till I show you. It's in Job. And in Job, it says this in Job 38, 32. Can you lead forth a constellation in its season? And guide the bear with her satellites. And when I click on the definition of satellites, we see something in the Strong's Concordance. It's totally crazy for the word satellites. And they're saying it's been translated to sun. Do you see that? The KJV translates Strong's number H1121 to sun 2,978 times. Children, old, first, man, young, stranger, 
people in miscellaneous 92 times. Let's take a look at this verse specifically in the King James Bible to see what it says. So we're going to look at the King James Bible. And this is what it says in the King James Bible. Canst thou bring forth Maseroth in his seasons? Question mark and then a small O, a grammar error. Or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Do you see how crazy this is? So again, satellites are now found in the New American Standard Bible. Then we have the word Navy. That's right. Navy is now found in the King James Bible six times in four verses. That's right. Navy. A Navy of ships. A navy, his in the navy, his servants, and we even have shipmen in the Bible. That's right, shipmen. And this is really weird. In one verse, in the first Kings ten twenty two, we have the word navy three times. For the king had at sea a navy of Tharshish, with the navy of Hiram once in three years came the navy of Tharshish. It was Tarshish. Anyway, um, but I wanted to point that out to you. There are other word switches in these verses, but let's take a look at how they're defining the word Navy. H8590, and it is translated to Navy five times, Navy of ships, that's right, and then galley one time, Navy of ships, a fleet of ships. In the sense of conveyance, a ship or collectively a fleet, a galley, a navy of ships. So now we have a navy of ships and shipmen in the King James Bible. We also have the word sailors. Did you know that? It's a new profession in the Bible. Sailors. It goes along with the other new profession of town clerk and doctor and lawyers in the King James Bible. But anyway, so now we have, you know, Navy and fleet in the Bible and divers and satellite. And then we also have, let me continue on here. The other word I want to show you is operations, plural. We have operations singular and we have the operations plural. And here it is in 1 Corinthians 12, 6. And there are diversities of operations. Diversities of operations. No. It has to do with the giftings. There are there are uh, there are various giftings. There are various spiritual gifts. Not diversities of operations. It sounds like transgender operations. This is first Corinthians twelve six. No, it was not. Let's take a look at diversities. G1243. And diversity is a hot word these days, isn't it? Yeah. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. You know, the, the woke, insane language that's being foisted upon humanity to justify perversion and wickedness. Now, let me just tell you right here. All lives matter. And God is no respecter of persons. And your skin color does not, your skin color is, is irrelevant in the eyes of the Lord. Do you understand? You are precious and honored in his sight. No matter what your skin color is, no matter what shade of your skin color is, you are honored and precious in his sight. I am mocking the insanity of pretending that, you know, like this color of your skin and your choice of sexual perversion are the same 
And that's what these insane evildoers are trying to do is to pretend that your skin color and your choice of sexual sin are the same and they're totally different. One you are born with and one you choose, right? It's a personal choice to sin. And they want to pretend that they don't have a choice, that they are forced to sin. I'm getting off on a tangent, but it must be said, because we're talking about the word diversity that is now in scripture twice. Look, actually it isn't, even though it says it was twice. I wonder if the word diversity, singular, is going to pop in there. Because according to the Strong's Concordance, it says it's in there twice. And then it even says difference. And it's defining it as division, distribution, distinction, difference. Diversity. Yeah, very interesting. But anyway, it wasn't operations. Let's take a look at G1755, and it's been translated to operation one time and working. Thing, rot, effect, operation. No. Obviously, it's been changed. Now, this is interesting. They're saying that the word operations comes from the word that looks like energy and effect working uh, I'm just what I'm doing is I'm going in my mind that scripture verse and what words could have been there before. Again, these are word switches. This is what they're doing. They're changing a word here and a word there. Sometimes the entire verse, like we've already looked at, one of them is so ridiculously changed, you have no idea what it said before because it's so perverted, right? Um, but this is like a word switch that's happening here. Diversities of operations. Now, I also want to show you, because we talked, I'm going to show you this one. The word pen is now in the Bible seven times. So we have the pen of the writer. They were graven with an iron pen. The pen of a ready writer, a man's pen, and then this weird long multisyllabic word in Isaiah 8 1. The pen of the scribes, a pen of iron with the point of a diamond. That's Jeremiah 17, 1. And then 3, 3, 3 John 1, 13 says, I had many things to write, but as I, as I will not with the ink and pen write unto thee. So I wonder why pen is now in the Bible. Let's take a look at the word pen here in Isaiah 8, 1, age 2747. And they're saying that it means a graving tool. An engraving tool, a stylus, a chisel, a stylus. Isn't that what they're using on tablets? And did you know what we're talking about, stylus for tablets? That the Ten Commandments are no longer written on tablets of stone. They're now written on tables of stone. We even have tables in our hearts now, according to the King James Bible. But now they're saying that the word pen means a stylus for your tablet, I guess. Anyway, this is very interesting. Makes me want to do a little bit more research here. But I bring up the word pen because they talk about pen here in this article. And um, pens of the tactile sea mammals. You see that? Pens of the tactile sea mammals. And by the way, the word sea is in scripture. And also the new words we're talking about, the sea, 
We also have coasts are in the Bible, C-O-A-S-T-S. But anyway, friends, this is what I want to share with you. The fact is we now have military and various English translations of scripture. They don't even make sense. We have divers in the Bible, you know, like scuba divers. Let me go back here. Divers are in the Bible all over the place. They don't even make sense. We have the word badgers in the Bible, and they're translated to dolphins. And then we have satellites in the New American Standard Bible that don't even make sense. They're translated to children or sons. And then we have the word navy in the Bible four times. And then we have the word pen in the Bible as well. It's absolutely crazy. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I have a lot more content I'm going to be sharing with you that I'm preparing for. But I just saw this this morning and I thought, hmm, I wanted to share it with you because it's so absolutely crazy. Let me see what you guys are saying out here in the live chat. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for showing up here. I didn't um, get the word out before I started. I just started. Let me see here. I try to send out emails when it's really planned. Let me go back here. You guys are writing so fast. Let me see if I can go back and see. Yeah, Marley, exactly. Wow. Yeah, crazy. Yellow cow from Finland says, but whoever makes these changes must be very clever. These changes are subtle and in many ways, like I said, clever. Exactly. Yeah, they're clever. Mm -hmm. Something I want to say, um, I think some of you in the live chat were inadvertently um, you may have been my moderators that are out there. If they're using a mouse pad, instead of using a mouse, a separate mouse, if they're using the mouse pad on their laptop or on their phone, they sometimes can put somebody into inadvertently, they can put somebody into a pause and it could be a mistake and it's happened. I've done it before. And now I know that when I, I want to need to block somebody in live chat or, something else, I need to go ahead and um, use my mouse. Um, or if I need to just sometimes just, if I click on someone's profile, it's really weird. It can happen like, it, it can happen within seconds that a mistake is made and then you can't retract it. So um, if you didn't say anything that was derogatory um, and you were, you were um, silenced or if you were put on pause, whatever the word is, it was probably a mistake. And, and just, you know, take it as it comes. Don't take it personally. Just continue in the live chat, okay? Um, usually, moderators, if you're hearing this, if someone is inappropriate, you can go ahead and, and give them an exhortation to um, be, be careful and to give them a warning sign. And if they do something again, then you can put them into a timeout. And if that doesn't work, then you can go ahead and just block them entirely, okay? Okay, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's just nonsense throughout scripture. Yeah, it's not that they don't want to see the truth. It seems like they absolutely hate the truth. Yeah. Oh, that's when in response to when I was saying about um, not loving the truth. Yeah, I believe everybody that is meant to see will be here. Mm-hmm. We're dealing with something supernatural. Mm -hmm. Yes, eunuch is definitely a biblical word. Of course it is. But not impotent folk and impotent men. That's now in the King James Bible. Come on, you guys. Impotent and impotency and incontinent and incontinency were not in the King James Bible. But now it is. And, and these evil wicked doers will justify and say it means such and such. And by the way, such and such is also a new phrase in the King James Bible. That's right, such and such. Kind of like roundabout, right? Or over yonder. It's ridiculous. You know what's interesting, Blue Heaven? Because I showed you how the word Italy is now in the Bible. Rome was in the Bible. Italy was not. And I think it is interesting, given what's happening in Italy, 
first with the pandemic and then now with the social credit score. A lot is coming forth, and I think it has to do with the Vatican, right? The satanic Vatican. Again, I make no apologies for calling out the Catholic Church as an always cult. Linda says, I think the people we told about the changes are not Christian and don't see the changes are afraid and don't want to change themselves. Let me, as I'm sitting here walking through these changes in scripture, I think I'll just put it to one of them. Um, Missy says, my family is too emotionally and mentally weak to talk about the changes. They know it's happening, but when I ask my sister to let me show her in, show her in her own Bible, she literally had a panic attack. Yeah, you know what I would do is I would say, you know, sister, let me pray over you. Sometimes people don't want prayer. Can you believe that? That people reject prayer? Obviously, it's a demon or demons. They hate the name of Jesus. They know there's power in the name of Jesus. But all you can do is pray for her and pray over her. But then again, those who have eyes to see will see. What I would do and what I what I do, and you know, again, I don't have all the answers, but I pray that my loved ones and generally people will have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness and truth. Because I, I believe that in having a hunger for righteousness and truth, it's going to lead you to Jesus. It will lead you straight to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And those who are denying Jesus hate the truth. I mean, it really is that simple. Those who are for him, those who are, those who, um, you're either for him or you're against him. It's just that simple. And, um, that's the way that it is. I have to go along here. So you guys are saying here, the mark is coming. Brian says, I can't even speak the name of Christ to my little sister without her getting emotionally upset. Oh. And he goes on to say, her husband texted me to tell me the other day because I keep, I keep upsetting her mentioning God. It's almost like the name of God, the demons that are possessing her really can't stand the name of Jesus. But don't you think it's interesting that these same evildoers will use the name of Jesus as a cuss word? What I say when I hear something like this is, why don't you say in the name of, you know, for, for Buddha's sake, right? For Buddha's sake. By the way, do you know the exact phrase of for Christ's sake? Just like that is now in the King James Bible. For Christ's sake is now in the King James Bible. Yeah, think about that one. Unbelievable. Um, people deny these changes out of fear. Satan whispers in their ear that if they ignore them, they will go away. They believe his lies because they want the changes to go away. Marley says that she remembers it changed to divers places decades ago, the first one. Now it's everywhere and still doesn't make sense. Blue Heaven says, sounds like everyone is going through trauma internally over this. Love you guys for standing strong. The porpoise is another form of a manatee. And Alan says, he remembers divers diseases. Right. And now we have an altar to Ed. The altar Ed. That's right. We have an altar in the Bible called Ed, E-D, like alternative education, diversity, right? That's right. It's ridiculous. An altar, Ed. I mean, it's so, abs and the word Ed is now italicized, altar, Ed. Also, that also can mean altered, right? The altar, Ed, three words can now be 
Well, I say altar ed is in the King James Bible, which is absurd in and of itself, but it could also mean altered, right? Put the words together, altar ed, altered. Very interesting. I just thought of that. Okay. Let's see here. Makes you wonder if the dugong definition is something that will come out of the ground later. Mm -hmm. Brian says that his poor brother-in-law just got another booster and he can barely breathe. These people are so blinded. Yeah, he should take some quercetin, some zinc, and vitamin D3. Yeah, these changes make me want to storm a pastor's office. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Missy. Blue Heaven says they know two people that have died from the Jabaroos. I'm just reading through the, the comments. Yeah, I think that more and more people are dying from the injection. They're dying of cardiac arrest. Perfectly healthy people are dropping dead, literally dropping dead. And also they're seeing an increase of hepatitis amongst children. The beginning of the end, right? Yeah, most of these terms didn't even exist back then, like the word couch in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, diversity. It's ridiculous. Linda says that her husband had breathing problems when he got it and stomach issues for six months. If you love Jesus and knowing he is the word, this should bother people to the core. Mm-hmm. Brian says that her, his older sister convinced his parents to take the poison. She's a Christian and loves the Lord, and lately she's been having horribly scary dreams of hell. Well, clearly the Lord is is trying to, to wake her up from her slumber. Yet they are blinded by who he is in this world. Free will is a double-edged sword. The changes are definitely upsetting, no doubt, but, you know, we rejoice that we see. Oh, somebody lost their hearing because of the job. Who? That's right. Who is keeping them hostage? Who? Who? It reminds me of the new word in the Bible. Let me show you. Well, first of all, we know in the Bible, the word "who" is being replaced with the word "which." W H I C H was a play on words, for you know the other new word in the Bible like witchcraft, witch. But also we have the new word here, whoso. Whoso, whoso is now in the Bible 54 times. Whoso. You know, I like saying whoso, 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 whoso. Whoso's wickedness. You know what I mean? Whoso's wickedness. Yeah. Those pretending that they have our best health in mind when they're really wicked evildoers. Okay, let me continue on here. I'm just going to the live chat. Yeah, I'm so grateful for this community. I really am so grateful for each of you. Yeah, like the Owl of Minerva. And we now have a little owl in the Bible. And then we have a great owl. We also have a screeching owl. That's right. A little owl, a great owl, in the same sentence. In fact, I'm going to show you. Owl. Like who? Right? An owl says who? Right? And so now we have, look at this. Oh, now it says the swan. <laughs> it used to say something different. The little owl, 
it used to say like Cormorant or something. It wasn't the swan. Swan is new. I wonder what they're going to do with swans. The little owl and the great owl and the swan. Seriously, you guys, swan was just, uh, this whole verse was rewritten. And then the swan recently was another word switch because it wasn't swan before. And when I say before, I'm talking about it's been changed a couple times. So the little owl and the great owl and the swan. Again, fairy tale language in the Bible. What does this mean? What are they saying? These are like code words. Obviously a Mandela effect. Bohemian Grove comes to mind. Freemasons like their owl symbols. That's right, Ed. Um, so it was, I am that I am. Exactly. Let me put that up here. It was always, I am that I am. Now it says, I am who I am. The Owl of Minerva. The vex complain of itching and being bit by something must be the shedding of a snake bite and snake shed, right? And we know that venom is now in the King James Bible. And the Lord is now hissing in the Bible. Of course, we know it's not the Lord of Lords. It's the God of this world. I am what I am. Papa used to say that. Well, it reminds me of the new phrase, you know, remember olive oil? Popeye, olive oil. Remember olive, olive oil? Now in the Bible, it now says oil olive. Just like that, oil olive. Have you ever had oil olive? I've only known of oil olive. It's been inverted. That's right. We have oil. We have all. We have oil. Olive in the Bible. It's I am who I am. The Lord hissing is an obvious blasphemous Bible change. Yeah, I think the um, hepatitis is a correlation to the injection. All right, everybody, listen, I have other shows I'm going to be doing and, um, just stay with me. Um, as I'm, I literally have so much I want to share with you and I, I literally have a list of things that I'm compiling to do videos on things that, things that I'm coming across. Um, and I definitely want to talk more about what I'm seeing with tables. And, um, I think we need to do a stream about that. And if you, any of you are computer coders out there would love to hear from you, what you think about some of the recent videos that I've shown about doing a copy and paste of verses and then plopping into a table instead of just as a paragraph that normally happens. Some verses are literally copying and pasting into like an Excel spreadsheet. It's totally weird, but I think it's how they're changing words. When I say they, we know it's satanic, but I think, you know, I don't know. I'd love to have some further dialogue about that with you. All right. Listen, everybody, I have to run because I have more research to do, but thank you so much for, um, you know, your comments, participate in the live chat, and I pray God's blessing and favor over each of you in Jesus' name. God bless you all.